Within any property, you're going to have different uh, sizes of animals and you're going to have different types of animals. The question to ask ourselves is how much is uh, each of these animals going to eat? Now, an animal's intake is going to be made up of two different areas. The first one to look at is its maintenance intake. And this is looking at the uh, intake needed for an animal to be able to breathe, move, digest its food, keep warm in winter and cool in summer, repair its body tissue, pump blood around the body, basically maintain its body weight. So therefore the intake requirement is going to depend on the weight of the animal, size, its age and the environment in which it's living. So therefore it goes without saying that your bigger animals are going to need more nutrition, therefore more intake for maintenance to maintain that body weight. So the bigger the animal, the higher the maintenance requirement. Your second part of intake is going to be its production intake. And this is what an animal needs for it to be able to grow, lactate, lay down fat and produce. And that's going to depend on the quality of feed it's got, its current breeder status and its current weight gain. An animal that's got higher weight gains is going to have a higher intake because it's better quality feed that's providing that higher weight gain. Now a dry breeder animal versus a pregnant versus a lactating, they're going to have different intakes as well with lactating animals eating a lot more. So the higher the level of production, the higher the intake. So if we look at these animals we've got in our places now with different breeds, sizes and at different levels of productivity, the question we'd ask ourselves is how do we compare apples with apples with all these different types and sizes and levels of productivity? And this is where DSC or dry sheep equivalent came in. And they took a 50 kg weather at maintenance, zero weight gain per day. And they looked at how much feed that animal ate and they called that one DSC, one dry sheep equivalent. And that became the standard reference point for everything else. And so they measured the amount of feed that different types of animals at different levels of productivity and weight ate and they compared that to that one DSC, that one standard reference. And then pulling all that together, these DSC tables were created, which gave you the DSC rating for individual animals at different weights, different levels of productivity and different types.